This is our trunk mobilization, or what we call in the house, gut smashing. Very technical term. But the idea is we're gonna try to address the musculature from the base of the pubic bone all the way up to the xiphoid process or the bottom of the rib cage. So what you wanna do is give yourself a big chunk of time here. For your first dose, stop at five minutes. And if you wanna then rewind and go longer because there's a lot of trunk musculature, go ahead. Remember, we're not pushing deeply on the psoas or some of these deeper muscles that we kind of tend to think about. We're addressing how the diaphragm is working, how the obliques, the rectus, all of these systems are articulating. Now, if we typically we're going to kind of look at the amount of time you spend on your quads or something else, it's a lot. But most of us don't really work on the trunk. And that's why when we begin this conversation, we see a lot in more improved function all the way down the pelvis, because this is a continuous system, all the way up to how well we breathe. So easiest thing to do is just get on a roller. This could be a soccer ball or a volleyball, but the roller is an easy place to start. And what I want you to do is pay attention to, can I take a full breath in? And more importantly here, can I get a full breath out? We're literally looking at the limits of the range of motion here. Now when I expand and breathe, my trunk should be expanding 360 and contracting 360. So I just follow the outline of my rib cage, and then I just start to kind of slide in obliquely. Now I can come right down the rectus abdominis, right down the center of the abs, and get plenty of work done <clears throat> to stabilize and improve the stabilization of my pelvis to my, to my chest. But when I start coming into the side and sneaking into these obliques, it's pretty powerful and pretty miraculous when you discover how restricted and how ugly this feels. So big breath in, big breath out, and really get to the bottom of that breath. And if you need to, to desensitize, throw in a four second hold and a long eight second exhale we should be able to kind of hang out in flexion or prop up in a little more of extension. And this should really resonate with you because this really is a pretty powerful position on the bike. And when we go to improve this anterior line, this whole kind of fascial muscular line of chest all the way to pelvis, we see a lot of improvements through the whole chain, which means quads on down. So even if this is the first time you've ever done this, don't panic. You can't hurt yourself. It's a pretty miraculous mobilization. Again, make sure you can take a breath in this position so you're working at an appropriate load.